MS Paint was my favorite program when I was a kid. And this is another don't make sense video. In this video I'm trying to use a tiny development board instead of using a computer or phone to draw something. While others use development boards to make their life easier, I'm programming a paint. Why I don't know. I'm probably weird. But it works great and it is fun. In this video I will show you how to build this breadboard paint. This is my old project. I decided to rewrite the code for this T-Display S3 board. This is a new improved version. So now we have better hardware and of course now I have much better camera thanks to donations of my subscriber. Thank you. So this is the display S3 board made by LilyGo. This board is great for this project because of this fast and beautiful display and powerful ESP32 S3 chip underneath. In the last two months I released many videos related to this board. Like always my code is free and you can find it, find it in description and feel free to use my code but also consider subscribing to this channel because that means a lot to me and it keeps me motivated. I'm waking very early every day to make these videos and programs. If you want you can don also donate coffee, link is in description. Ok, let's see what we have here. For this project you will need the display S3 board two potentiometers and two push buttons and some of jumper wires. Very simple. And how to draw it is very easy. We are using potentiometers to to move this cursor up and down and here we can X and Y position of this push button is our pen pen can be up or down for example right now it is selected line so I will put uh, my cursor on start position I will put pen down and I have a line. I also I'm also using these two built-in push buttons. With uh, this one I can change colors. For example, let's take green and with this I can draw select different shapes. Again, start position, pen down and here we have shape. Let's try purple circle. Start position and I need to adjust radius. There is also uh, this button, which is great and useful button uh, because it is used for delete. Alas, this is like undo button. So if if I am not very happy with this circle, I can delete it with by pressing this button. Or if I press it again, I will. Or I can delete everything. So this is the lead button which will delete whole shape and now how to hook this up maybe this look like uh, very complicated but it's not first you will need uh, from on internet you will find pin out diagram and you will need hook up only two potentiometers and two push buttons. 
you probably know, but I will say again, each potentiometer have three, uh, sorry, three pins. First needs to be connected to ground, last needs to be connected to VCC, and the middle one is connected to pin 16. 16 in this case. This one is ground 17 VCC. This push button is connected to pin 21. And this one is connected to pin 44. That means that one, one side of push button is connected to ground and other side is connected directly to, to pin 44. And these push buttons are built in, so this is push button 0, pin 0, we are using it for changing shapes, and this one is pin 14, we are using it to change colors. And that's it, code is in description. Feel free to learn from it. Feel free to send me if you draw something. It will be nice to see that. I love to see that people are using my projects. Uh, size of our paper is, you can see it here. 220 by 168 Goodbye. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, everything. Goodbye.